The proposal to expand the state secrecy involving lethal injections is one step closer to becoming a law. Good evening. I'm Jennifer Pinate. Thanks for joining us tonight. The bill passed a Senate Judiciary Committee yesterday by a 5 to 3 vote. It proposes keeping the state from releasing any documents or information that would reveal the identity or indirectly identify the suppliers of any of the lethal injection drugs used in executions. State Senator Bart Hester of Benton County, who helped sponsor the bill, says if any information is disclosed recklessly, it will now be considered a felony. Overall, uh, this is a, a, an attempt to satisfy the Supreme Court um, with, with our method of execution so we can move forward with, uh, with administering justice to those that, it, uh, that uh, are condemned. The criticism surrounding this bill, despite its approval, is that it gives officials broad power when it comes to the drugs used for lethal injections. The last executions in Arkansas were in April of 2017, when four of eight death row inmates were put to death. Those were not without controversy, as they were delayed multiple times. At that time, one of the makers of the execution drugs was identified, questioning the amount of protection afforded to those manufacturers.